the birth did not go very well. It took a lot out of me and it took a long, longer time than the other two times for me to um, recover from a physical point of view as well as from a mental point of view. So there was a lot of things that I had to kind of put on pause for the sake of my health and for the sake of my family's well-being. <laughs> Hi everybody! I hope you are all good. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to me. <laughs> it has been more than a minute. It's been a year. I did um, posting again earlier this week on my shorts. So if you're into shorts, please do check that out. Um, I hope you can hear me because uh, the house is asleep. <laughs> I came back home a bit late after a shoot. That's why I'm looking like this. And I'm trying really, really hard not to wake up the kids. Which, by the way, I have three. <laughs> I have three kids now. I still can't believe it. Okay, so the last time I um, shared a video with you, the last time I caught up with everybody, I was about to have my third baby. And I said, I will see you soon. I'll let you know when I'm back and all of that. And then, so first off, sorry about that. Secondly, it's been a year when I tell you it's been a year I have to say this has been possibly one of the hardest most challenging years of my life from a personal perspective um, completely and you know when your personal stuff is not 100% then everything else gets like you know um, to cut a long story short I had every intention of coming back on you know maybe a few months a couple of months take my maternity leave of like three four months um and then come back on and have my new baby and you know all of that long story short because i am going to be sharing the long story the full story very very soon i'm going to be letting you know what i have been up to and how i'm going to be sharing my story in a bit so keep watching for that i gave birth um and not everything went as planned I am grateful that my baby is amazing. Her name is Amaya. I have a girl. <laughs> I have a girl. <laughs> I'm so excited to be a girl mom. I never thought I would say that, but I really, really am. I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so grateful. I'm so, it just, I, I still look at her in awe, you know? I still look at her in awe. Um, her name is Amaya and she is, I can just smell her now. <laughs> She's sleeping all sleeping but she's amazing and she's beautiful and she is the really light of our lives but things didn't go very smoothly and that really affected me a lot um, and it's taken me a long time to get here um, from a physical perspective from a mental perspective um, I wanted to make sure that I came with the right energy um, back onto YouTube. I have been back on my social media platforms mostly because they require a different energy for me. Um, uh, whereas with YouTube, it's I don't know what it is. I, 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 I feel like I would have been pretending if I came on and I was like, hi, when in fact I was like really like struggling inside. So, like I said, I will be sharing the full story, the full details of what actually happened. And all of that very very soon and I'm gonna be doing that on season four of my podcast the whole mama show season four season four is out next week on YouTube first and I'm so excited because it is the first video season of my entire podcast um, I am so excited about this I've been wanting to do this for the longest of time but I really needed to give myself that space and give myself that grace to um, to heal to um, get to a place where I was I was I was good and I am good and I'm feeling good I knew that I was otherwise I was going to be trying to do too much and having too much to do and as well as raise my family as well as be a good wife as well as you know showing up for myself um and so that's basically kind of what i've been doing the past well year <laughs> figuring out how to show up for my kids well and my family and also showing up for myself 
because that has been key and has been instrumental in me feeling like myself again a different version of myself though because um the past year i i cannot say i'm the same person as i was a year ago two years ago um the my whole outlook on life on people on my family especially has completely changed and yeah i feel like i'm teasing you i know but <laughs> please hang tight yeah i'm excited i'm really excited because this season oh the guests I'm feeling emotional about it because um, there are some really, really vulnerable, honest moments. I mean, my guests have given them, like, they have given me their all. And I'm so excited to share that with you. Um, that is basically the kind of, yeah, new direction of my channel. And I wanted to let you know about it before just... <laughs> Here you go catch the baby <laughs> it's very much the whole mama it is very much um, what happens behind the scenes episodes themselves the the really nitty-gritty the raw untold stories experiences journeys of mothers so it's not just about me it is about other mothers who have experienced things that i haven't experienced but maybe you have or your auntie has or a friend or a friend or a sister and i'll be so grateful and so appreciative for you to join me in this mission to to share these stories because i'm sure a lot of you can agree that motherhood ooh, we haven't been told the full story and the story that we have been told as beautiful and as perfect and as amazing and magical and all of the adjectives that are commonly used to talk about motherhood they're all true and there's another side that's also equally as true that we have been shamed to share that we have been judged um, when we do talk about it that a lot of us have been silent about a lot of us have felt alone in so that we can release ourselves from that like cage that um, the muzzle that's kind of been put on us as women that our experiences are invalid or don't exist un unless it's amazing and it's perfect and we're happy and we're just we've snapped back and we've you know all of that and i'm pretty sure every every woman who is a mother would agree to say that's like half the story if if that <laughs> if that so i hope i really hope this season and the content moving forward serves you that is and has always been my mission but it is even more is even stronger now my calling my um passion everything has just been like mm, even more so so i hope you enjoy it and please share it with a woman in your life she doesn't have to be a mother yet or a mother at all i think the more people in our society that know about these untold stories of motherhood the better support we can have the better allies we can have on our side it's it's key it's key because i said this in a blog post a few years ago and it's still so true now if we fail if mothers fail everybody fails if we lose everybody loses so it is my mission it is my mission and it's been my mission um it is still my mission to make sure that as many women as many mothers out there feel less alone yeah i feel like i'm having a baby another baby <laughs> that i'm gonna deliver to the world um as a creative you really do i i really do feel like i'm birthing something you know and putting something together and it's going from my mind to your screens or it's going from my mind to your phone or my mind to whatever it is and that's the beauty of it and i love it but it's also like it's so vulnerable as well and so 
I hope you love my vision as much as I do. Um, even if you love it, a smidgen of it. Um, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free, by the way. <laughs> There's some people who still ask me, do I have to pay? Like, no, you don't have to pay. Um, so please subscribe. Please follow me on my social media platforms. I am Aisha and Life on all platforms, including TikTok. I'm on TikTok now and I am loving it. On TikTok, I share mostly mom plugs. So places to go with your kids or with your husband for date night or with a girlfriend for a girl's catch up. Um, things to do in Joburg with your kids. That did very, very well. A lot of people really love that content. So I'll probably be doing more of those five things to do with your kids in Joburg. I've been up to a lot behind the scenes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be sharing a lot of it as of next week. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments, um, what are you hoping to see from my channel moving forward knowing now that this is what i am you know doing great news for those who have been missing my natural hair content i have started to share about natural hair again so follow me on my instagram and my tiktok i have shared a couple of tutorials on there and um like tips and things like that so make sure to check that out and also let me know if you're interested in seeing that here It'll be more of a behind the scenes kind of content but still something i think um, if you find valuable then i will definitely share that especially from a mom angle that's basically what i'm doing <laughs> that now i'm a mom i have three kids i'm busy i don't have time to do the 30 days 30 updos anymore but there's still a way that you can look cute and feel cute especially when you're time poor like myself and something that's easy and that you can also save money in doing so that's also on the horizon that's also like floating about that's also stuff that i am kind of returning to in a way yeah i'm really excited i'm excited to be back i'm glad to be back i needed this break i'm glad i took it and so now i am i'm ready to go <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and um, please subscribe please follow me on social media please uh share 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 so we can reach more women okay mm -hmm.